great day, health warriors. Get ready to explore the world of consumer health and become responsible health and wellness ambassadors. This is Teacher Ruby here on DepEd TV. In today's episode, we will learn how to select health professionals, specialists, and healthcare service wisely. Likewise, I will guide you on how to report fraudulent health services which is guided by clinical practice and the law. Ready health warriors? Let us begin with a review of the past lesson about consumer health. Get your paper and pen and identify the correct answer based on the information given. Select the best answer inside the box. Number one, it is any concept, step, or advice that various sources give to aid the health status of an individual. The answer is health information. These are products that we consume to improve our well-being such as medicine, vitamins, food, medical devices, disinfectant, beauty products, and many more. The correct answer is health products. Number three. These are programs we avail from various providers such as physicians, nurses, therapists, health workers, hospitals, clinics, and health insurance. The answer is health services. Number four, these are individuals who are licensed to practice medicine and other allied health programs. The answer is health professionals. Number five, it is a financial agreement between an insurance company and an individual or group for the payment of healthcare costs. The answer is health insurance. Grade 10, I hope you got a high score in our review. Just remember that you are about to become a young adult. All input about consumer health will be very beneficial as it bridges the gap between the patients and health resources. Always remember that health is wealth. Allow me to share with you a short story. Listen attentively and prepare to answer my questions later. You can take down important details, so have your paper and pen with you. The Magic Bracelet Lila, a 16-year-old student, heard of a product demonstration in a local mall. The demonstration was advertising a magic bracelet, which can revive energy and lower blood pressure. The student was easily attracted. She spent 1,000 pesos for the item. After a week, Lila developed allergic reactions. Upon checking, the bracelet was found to have been treated with chemicals to preserve its surface. She also reviewed the comments of the customers via Facebook page and saw some conditions with other buyers. The comments also pointed out that the items have high lead content. Lila was a victim of quackery. Quackery is a form of health fraud, an advertisement, promotion, or sale of products and services that have not been scientifically proven safe and effective. It is being operated by a quack. A quack is a person who dishonestly pretends to have medical skills or knowledge. Have you experienced 
this kind of quackery? What are the things to consider for us to avoid this kind of circumstances? In our previous lesson, we talked about reliable and unreliable sources of health information, products, and services. Medical professionals are the most reliable source of information when it comes to health. Now, let us identify some physicians and their area of specialization. Pediatrician. Pediatrician specializes in children's health care and treatment of diseases. Psychiatrist. Psychiatrist specializes in the diagnosis and treatment of mental disorders. Obstetrician specializes in the care of women during pregnancy and childbirth. Ophthalmologist specializes in diagnosis and treatment of eye disease and disorders. Anesthesiologist specializes in administering various anesthetics to assure proper operative procedures. Dermatologist specializes in the diagnosis and treatment of skin diseases. Cardiologist specializes in the diagnosis and treatment of the heart and blood vessels. Allergist specializes in diagnosing and treating body reactions resulting from unusual sensitivity to food, medicine, dust, and other substances. Pulmonologist specializes in diseases of the lungs and respiratory tract. Neurologist specializes in providing diagnosis and surgical treatment of diseases of the central nervous system. Gastroenterologist specializes in the diagnosis and treatment of diseases in the gastrointestinal system. Geriatrician specializes in care of elderly and diseases that affect them. Surgeon specializes in performing surgical operation in treating diseases, injuries, and deformities. Urologist specializes in diseases and abnormalities of the gastrourinary tract. Gynecologist specializes in diseases and care of the female reproductive organs. Dentist diagnose and treat problems with patients' teeth, gums, and related parts of the mouth. Selecting the correct health provider can give the health consumer the advantage of receiving accurate and appropriate medical treatment. It can also protect us from fraudulent health providers such as quacks. What are the three types of quackery? First one is medical quackery. It pertains to malpractices in the medical profession where the pseudo-doctors claim to be experts and competent to treating diseases. Their intention is always to make profit at the expense of deceiving the public. Examples of this are cosmetic surgeons who are not licensed to do dermatological procedures and pseudo-healers or those who earn money with false prescriptions. Second is nutrition quackery. It is any form of fake or unclassified claims of nutritional value or impact. One of the most popular and profitable hoaxes goes in the form of dietary supplements weight loss products and medicine which do not have any approval from the Bureau of Food and Drugs. Third is device quackery. It makes use of miraculous gadgets that are believed to cure certain health conditions. Substandard appliances and gadgets 
which usually caused health hazards and accidents like fire and electric explosions. What will happen if we became victims of quackery? Let us go back to the story of Lila. Let's see what happened. Because of her experience, Lila was so disappointed and worried about the allergic reaction that the magic bracelet had cost her. Overwhelmed with this, Lila wants to file a complaint to stop the selling and charge the business owner for medical expenses she incurred. She also wants her money back. The experience of Lila showed that quackery can lead to harmful effects, like it puts the life of public in danger. It leads conflict to consumer and the seller. It causes stress due to its uncertainty of effectiveness. This time, grade 10, get your papers and pens and let's answer this question. What are the benefits that you can derive from knowing the reliable health service providers? Selecting correct health care provider can give us the advantage of receiving accurate and appropriate medical treatment. It can also protect us from fraudulent health providers such as quacks. Congratulations, Grade 10 Health Warriors! Mission accomplished! Today, we discuss the importance of selecting correct health care providers. And we identified different types of physicians. We also talked about fraudulent services such as quackery. Grade 10. Keep on exploring the world of consumer health and become responsible wellness ambassadors. See you next time for more informative and engaging lesson with Teacher Ruby here on DepEd TV.